I dare you to comment your New Year's resolution down in the comment section below. And welcome back to the channel guys, and today we are playing WWE 2K20 Universe Mode, but I can only draft WCW alumni. What that means is that I'm only able to draft people that have appeared on WCW television in the past. But with that said, before we get to the first draft pick here in the draft, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button today because one is absolutely free and so you can unsubscribe at any point in the future. And can we hit 500 likes on this video? I think we can. So kicking our draft off, our number one draft pick is also going to be our first W. WCW World Heavyweight Champion, and it is the icon, the man they call Sting. The Stinger. The Stingsky. My second pick is going to be the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, because if you didn't know, AJ Styles actually did compete in WCW. Eddie Guerrero had to be on this roster. Give me Eddie Guerrero. I'll take Hollywood Hulk Hogan in a WCW Universe mode. I'll grab Rey Mysterio up next, because that son of a gun was certainly a filthy animal, if you will. And speaking of, if you will, let's take Duddy Row, baby. I would be a fool if I did not draft the nature boy, Ric Flair, but I'm also going to grab Ricky the Dragon Steamboat while we're over here. Rowdy Roddy Piper definitely needs to be on this roster to me, so I'm drafting Rowdy Roddy Piper up next. Hey, yo, give me Scott Hall, the outsider, the man that changed the tides of pro wrestling forever. Look at the adjective, play. They ain't here to play. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that Kevin Nash line is so funny looking back on it. This man said, look at the adjective. It's a verb. Well, I mean, we don't have stunning Steve Austin, but I will take Stone Cold Steve Austin because Stone Cold technically was in WCW as a Hollywood blonde. Somebody I never draft? I'm grabbing Ted DiBiase. I guess you could say some terrors rising in this WCW. Give me Triple H. Another person I never draft, but I will for this draft, the Ultimate Warrior is coming to WCW. For the memes, let me get Shane McMahon because he appeared on the last episode of Nitro. Are we counting Mean Mark Calloway? I'm sure counting Mean Mark, so give me The Undertaker 91. Please don't hate me. <laughs> Let's take six pack too. Y'all didn't think I was gonna forget about Goldberg, did you? Give me Goldberg. Billy boy, come on down. I mean, I drafted Triple H as Terror Rising as a meme, so I'm gonna go ahead and draft Edge too, because Edge did some jobs for WCW. Give me Chris Jericho too. Brett the Hitman Hart is coming to WCW. If I don't draft Booker T, I would be an absolute idiot. So give me the Booker Man, y'all. Can you dig it? The five time five. Five time, five time, five time, five time. Did I miscount five times? I think I miscounted five times. Well, well, it's the giant. Give me the macho man. Oh, yeah, dig it. And for my last draft pick, what is quite possibly the most Mr. Fantastic Reach of all time? Do y'all remember the movie that WCW had? Ready to Rumble. David Arquette became the world champion after the movie came out. Well, yes, in WCW's movie, Ready to Rumble, John. John Cena was actually an extra. You can see him for a teensy weensy little second in that movie in the background working out. So I'm counting it. John Cena, welcome to WCW. Well, as I said, Sting is going to be our starting world heavyweight champion. We also have a money in the bank briefcase because I just think that the money in the bank ladder match makes things a lot fun because we don't know if that person's ever going to cash in or not. We also are going to have the Royal Rumble match because again, I like the unpredictability of what happens. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the main pay-per-view here for WCW. We're kicking things off with Hollywood Hulk Hogan, The Undertaker, Rowdy Roddy Piper, Brett the Hitman Hart, Edge, Rey Mysterio, Dusty Rhodes, and Booker T all vying to win that Money in the Bank briefcase. And the winner of the briefcase is gonna be Hollywood Hulk Hogan because that don't work for me, brother. Moving forward, though, AJ Styles defeats the Giant. We then have Sting defeating John Cena for the World Heavyweight Championship. And in the main event of the evening, Goldberg wins another eight-man ladder match featuring Shane McMahon, Six, Chris Jericho, Eddie Guerrero, The Ultimate Warrior, Goldberg, Stone Cold, and Ted DiBiase. As we make it to the month of July, this is where Bash at the Beach should be. Goldberg defeats Bret the Hitman Hart in the opening contest. We then have Chris Jericho defeating Terra Rising in the next match. Rey Mysterio actually gets a win over on Mean Mark Calloway. We have Ric Flair defeating Eddie Guerrero. Booker T defeats The Warrior. We then have AJ Styles defeating The Giant. After that, stunning Steve Austin defeats The Macho Man. Oh, no, 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 excuse me. The Macho 
Macho Man Randy Savage defeats stunning Steve Austin, Sting defeats the prototype, and then Edge, or excuse me, wait, what was Edge's name in WCW? Nevertheless, Edge defeats Hollywood Hulk Hogan. It is the month of August, which means this is the Road Wild WCW pay-per-view. We open things up with Mean Mark Calloway losing to the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. After that, Hollywood Hulk Hogan defeats the Giant. We then have Daddy Rowe, baby, defeating Chris Jericho in our next match. Scott Hall loses to Kevin Nash in what I am sure was a very interesting circumstance. John Cena, aka the prototype, defeats Sting. We then have Booker T defeating the Ultimate Warrior. After that, terrorizing defeats the Macho Man Randy Savage. Eddie Guerrero defeats Ric Flair. Brett the Hitman Hart defeats Bill Goldberg. We then have Edge winning a triple threat match between Stunning Steve Austin and Rey Mysterio Jr. The month of September means it is time for Fall Brawl. We open things up with the Macho Man Randy Savage defeating Dusty Rhodes. After that, Rey Mysterio Jr. does defeat the Giant in a David versus Goliath match if I've ever seen one. We then have Mean Mark Calloway defeating Bill Goldberg. Edge defeats Booker T because I still don't know what his WCW name was. Was it just Adam? Or like, I know it wasn't just Adam, but I mean, what was it? I don't know. I haven't Googled it yet. Ne nevertheless, we have Triple H defeating Ric Flair, aka Terror Rising, defeating Ric Flair. Eddie Guerrero then defeats The Warrior. The Prototype defeats AJ Styles. Bret the Hitman Hart defeats Sting for the World Heavyweight Championship. And then Hollywood Hulk Hogan defeats Sting for the World Heavyweight Championship. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? So Hogan cashed in his briefcase and defeats Sting for the championship, but Bret Hart defeated Sting for the championship. Who is the world heavyweight champion? Going and looking at it, Hollywood Hulk Hogan is actually the champion, and they do not recognize Bret Hart as the champion. That is insane. Bret screwed Bret. Moving into the month of October, it is time for Halloween Havoc, and real quick, just to address it, because I forgot to do it, I do not cash in the briefcase as the winner of the Money in the Bank. It says customized match, because when the AI cashes in, it always says customized match. I just have to preface that because everybody always thinks that I cash in, but Scout's Honor, I do not do it. Bill Goldberg, however, does defeat the Macho Man Randy Savage here at Halloween Havoc. Moving forward, Bret the Hitman Hart loses to Shane McMahon. We then have Rey Mysterio Jr. defeating the Giant. After that, Chris Jericho does defeat Ted DiBiase. Edge defeats Booker T. We then have Kevin Nash defeating Scott Hall. Tara Rising defeats Mean Mark Calloway. Hollywood Hulk Hogan defeats John Cena for the World Heavyweight Championship. Stunning Steve Austin defeats Eddie Guerrero. And AJ Styles defeats Dusty Rhodes in the main event of Halloween Havoc. In the month of November, we have World War III here in WCW. Goldberg defeats Mean Mark Calloway to kick off the World War III pay-per-view. Moving forward, though, Chris Jericho does defeat Dusty Rhodes. Up next, we have Ted DiBiase defeating Shane McMahon. Ric Flair, whoo, defeats defeats the warrior in a singles competition. Kevin Nash defeats six right after with Scott Hall still in his corner. After that, we have a big eight man elimination tag match between Brett the Hitman Hart, Ricky Steamboat, Rey Mysterio Jr. and Rowdy Roddy Piper losing to the team of stunning Steve Austin, the giant, the macho man, Randy Savage and Booker T. We then have the prototype losing to the terror rising, if you will. After this, AJ Styles, a homegrown talent defeats Hollywood Hulk Hogan for the World Heavyweight Championship and in the main event of the evening Eddie Guerrero defeats Edge. Entering the December pay-per-view, it is Starcade, the biggest pay-per-view of WCW every single year. And we kick things off with Bret the Hitman Hart defeating Ted DiBiase. The Warrior loses to Ric Flair. After that, the Prototype defeats Mean Mark Calloway in an Extreme Rules match. We have Shane McMahon defeating Randy Savage. Kevin Nash defeats Scott Hall. Triple H, aka Terra Rising, defeats The Giant in a ladder match. Chris Jericho does defeat Hollywood Hulk Hogan. AJ Styles retains the World Heavyweight Championship against Bill Goldberg. Booker T defeats Stunning Steve Austin. Eddie Guerrero defeats Edge and Rey Mysterio Jr. in a TLC triple threat match. 
Moving on into the month of January, it is time for Sold Out. But who is going to sell out in that Royal Rumble main event? The world may never know until very soon. But Randy Savage does open things up, defeating Ricky Steamboat. They're reigniting that WrestleMania greatness that they once had. We then have Bret the Hitman Hart defeating Ted DiBiase in our next match. We then have the Giant defeating Rey Mysterio Jr. Did you know that Rey Mysterio Jr. came as an accessory to a giant toy? That is insane to me. Nevertheless, though, Eddie Guerrero does defeat Edge in our next match. We then have Stunning Steve Austin defeating Booker T. After that, AJ Styles defeats Goldberg yet again with the World Heavyweight Championship on the line. Ric Flair does defeat the Warrior right after that. After this, we have the Terror Rising defeating the Prototype. And in the main event of the evening, we do have the Royal Rumble match. Now, who won the Rumble? It was Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Because, of course, it was. Hogan is, you know, he got creative control. He comes into the show. He says, hey, you guys want Sting going over? That don't work for me, brother. I'm going over. As we enter the month of February, it is time for the Super Brawl pay-per-view. The Warrior does defeat Ricky Steamboat in our opening contest. We then have an Elimination Chamber match, or a Terradome match, if you will, between Ted DiBiase, Chris Jericho, Ric Flair, Bret the Hitman Hart, Undertaker, or me, Mark Calloway, and Dusty Rhodes with Ric Flair picking up the win there. After this, we have Kevin Nash defeating Scott Hall in singles competition. Hollywood Hulk Hogan does defeat the Giant. After this, stunning Steve Austin defeats Eddie Guerrero. We then have AJ Styles retaining the World Heavyweight Championship against Goldberg. And in the main event of the evening, Randy Savage defeats Edge, Rey Mysterio Jr., Terror Rising, Booker T, the prototype in a Terra Dome Elimination Chamber match. You know, I guess it wouldn't have been a Terra Dome, it would have been the Chamber of Horrors, but that is what it is. Nevertheless, we go into the month of March where we have the uncensored pay per view. Triple H terrorizing does defeat the Macho Man Randy Savage. After that, Bret the Hitman Hart defeats Rey Mysterio Jr. We have Dusty Rhodes defeating Chris Jericho. Mean Mark Calloway defeats Ted DiBiase. John Cena the Prototype defeats Edge and Booker T in a triple threat match. We have the Ultimate Warrior defeating Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Sting defeats Goldberg. After this, we have Hollywood Hulk Hogan defeating Big Show. Stunning Steve Austin does defeat Eddie Guerrero. And then we we have Ric Flair defeating six in the main event. And in the month of April, it is time for Spring Stampede, the last pay-per-view of WCW's calendar year. We open things up with AJ Styles defending that World Heavyweight Championship against Hollywood Hulk Hogan. And the winner of the match is... Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Of course, you know, I figured at some point he would win that WCW championship because let's be honest here, Hogan always has to win when it comes to WCW. Nevertheless, though, Kevin Nash does defeat Scott Hall here at the pay-per-view, here at Spring Stampede. We then have Chris Jericho defeating Shane McMahon. The Giant defeats Booker T. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat loses to six. We then have Rey Mysterio Jr. defeating Ted DiBiase. Yassi. Goldberg loses to Rowdy Roddy Piper. Dusty Rhodes defeats the Ultimate Warrior. We have Ric Flair defeating Randy Savage. Mean Mark Calloway loses to Terra Rising. Stunning Steve Austin does lose to Eddie Guerrero. And in the main event, the last main event, Edge defeats John Cena and Bret the Hitman Hart in a triple threat match. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we end things off with our World Heavyweight Champion being a two-time World Champion in this universe mode. We have Hollywood Hulk Hogan being our last World Heavyweight Champion for WCW. He did win the Money in the Bank briefcase, and he also won the Royal Rumble match. Insanity. But AJ Styles actually did get some new blood rising in the WCW, as he did defeat Hollywood Hulk Hogan to win the World Heavyweight Championship, at least. But ladies and gentlemen, that is what happens when you play WWE 2K20 Universe Mode, but I only draft WCW alumni. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this one, and as always and forever, take it easy though, guys. Peace!